So this is kind of a weird video for me to do, but let's talk about a game that hasn't even come out yet. I was approached by Jason Mojica, a friend and game designer, with a video of his and his friend Mike V's new game Proteus, an old-school PC shooter on modern hardware with care taken to replicate the challenge, pace, and visuals of classics like Doom or Quake. Now, not many of you may know this about me, but age-old ray-casted 3D shooters are one of my favorite subgenres of FPSs. There's something so charming about the lo-fi, future grit aesthetic and the gameplay itself has only gotten better over time. I mean, back when these games were first coming out in the 90s, they included camera buttons on your keyboard since having a mouse hooked up to your computer wasn't a default expectation. But over the past few years, games like Quake Champions and Doom 2016 have sought to bring back and update this genre of game. But while good, neither of those games quite capture the charm and satisfaction of the originals for me. Then comes Proteus. I was asked if I had any interest and was offered an early preview of the game to make a video about. I tend to be skeptical about these kinds of proposals, as if I end up disliking the game, it puts me in a tricky spot, but all of my doubts went out the window when I actually got to play it. Bear in mind you're looking at a pre-alpha here, so everything is subject to change. But for a pre-alpha, the game blew me away so much, it felt like a more complete experience than some AAA shooters I've played in the recent past. I only had the one level to work with, but the map was so vast I played through it multiple times just to find secrets that I missed. If you've played Doom or the like in the past, you can generally know what to expect, but the rundown is you run around at mock speed punching demons' heads off until you find guns to fight bigger and harder enemies. Locate key cards, health, and armor upgrades around the map, kill everything in your path, and then find the exit. It's simple, sweet, and satisfying. Something that always stood out to me about these old PvE shooters that isn't quite the case nowadays is that generally speaking, enemies with ranged attacks will fire projectiles rather than hitscan bullets. This means you can see damage coming at you and use your marathon man speed to avoid it. All throughout my time with this pre-alpha, I never felt like I took damage unnecessarily. If I got hit, it was because I screwed up. Enemies themselves have high health values, but are weak to headshots or harder to find weapons like rocket launchers and miniguns. And on death, they'll explode into ludicrous amounts of blood and gibbs, just like they would in those old games. Now, if you're worried this game is stuck in the past, I can promise you the controls and level design took modern innovations into stride. I never felt totally lost or that I was fighting the controls like could sometimes be the case in 90 shooters. And if the old school graphics are a bother, then rest assured you have the option to modernize them. The ray-casted, pixelated visuals can be configured to a fully 3D modeled style at your leisure, so you can have the classic gameplay with a modern look, of course to be improved upon in future releases. Speaking of, this is where you can help. The game's Kickstarter, while fully funded, has plenty of stretch goals with just a few days to go. They have until April 24th to hit goals like more music, levels, and a weather system. This game is coming out in early access later this year and will fully release in 2020 and will ship with a level editor. But if you want to make a game I love just that much better, their Kickstarter is linked below. If you're interested, $20 will get you a copy of Proteus on both PC and a console of your choosing, be it Xbox, PlayStation, or Switch when it finally releases. I wasn't paying to do this or anything, I just wanted to help a friend get their excellent game the attention it deserves. Thanks for watching, and take it easy!